Hello and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. We're out here in my garden. Um, I've just put together some more winter sowing jugs and just adding him them to the snowbank here out in my garden. It is a freaking cold day today. It's minus 23 degrees Celsius, which I believe is about minus 9 Fahrenheit. Tonight the temperature is going to drop to about minus 30 degrees Celsius overnight. So these things are definitely going to be frozen solid. And it looks like we're in for a cold spell for quite a while. It's the end of January, so we still have a ways to go. So I'm going to put these in the snow here. And I'll take you into the garage where it's a lot warmer. And we'll show you how we got these planted up today. So as you've seen maybe in my other winter sowing videos, if you watch them, that um, I always say to you put a marker inside the jug and write what's planted in there in case you're writing on the exterior of the container um, wears off during the winter season. Um, I used a bunch of knives last time because I had an excess amount. So I just want to show you something else that I use as well, and that is um, cutting up these plastic containers whether it's a sour cream or margin container yogurt container it's kind of a nice way to use them up if you um, don't want to purchase plastic marker or markers or if you're just kind of a, a cheapy like me so I can just make a whole bunch out of one container here going to cut them off and show you how they work. So there, just from the, then I just take the end and make a V cut like that so that you can stick it in the dirt. So that's what we'll be using today to mark what we're planting in our winter sowing. So we're going to start off by moistening up our uh, potting soil here. I have a 50-50 mix of uh, uh, potting soil and some peat moss. So today we are going to plant up some perennial flowers and some strawberries. Um, from what I've read about winter sowing and from my past experience, these are um, work well using the winter sowing method because these kind of seeds need to go through the stratification process where they need to um, be frozen uh, for a period of time or very cold for a period of time and then the seeds will uh, naturally break down and sprout in the spring when the time is right. So we're gonna do some chamomile. I did some last year uh, using winter sowing and had some success with those. Um, I bought some purple corn, corn flour, Echinacea purpurea. That is also a recommended seed to try using uh, the winter sowing method. So we're gonna give that a try. And I also wanna try strawberries. Because I've read that they, the seeds, strawberry seeds um, are perennials, or strawberry plants are perennials, and the cold stratification uh, process is something that they would go through naturally um, if they were growing outdoors. So I'm going to try starting them this way and see how it goes. Um, reading the back of this one seed here, this is a, um, an alpine strawberry. It says here that um, it is for the more experienced gardener. I don't know what that means. Kind of scares me, but we're going to give it a try. And this one here is the Fresca strawberry. I've also started some of these using my um, indoor hydroponic method. So um, keep watch for those video updates as well, because I have some sprouting now indoors. So let's plant these up. So also in today's video, we are going to test out some different 
types of containers um, rather than using the traditional milk jugs that you normally see people using for winter sowing. Um, I've read a lot of on Facebook groups and different winter sowing videos that sometimes people say they they don't have these, they don't use these kind of jugs in their home, so what else can I use? So I think it's just a matter of looking around your house and checking out different sizes of containers and you know there's a lot of different ones that will work out there. This is a, uh, I think it was just cranberry juice container. was a Epsom salts. So I'm going to try that out. I uh, drilled a bunch of holes in this lid because I thought leaving the lid off might be too big an opening. And of course I have the holes drilled in the bottom. This is an ice cream container. It's got kind of the same opaque type um, as the milk jugs, I think, so it should let in light. And also the lid, I just drilled a whole bunch of extra holes in it as well as holes at the bottom. So we're gonna give that a try. We have quite a few of those containers. Sadly, we really like ice cream here and go through a lot and Chapman's is the best. Um, also, I have a takeout dish from Boston Pizza. It's, I got about two inches of dirt in there and I'm gonna try it and see. These are great for indoor growing starts as well, but I thought we might as well see how it works in the winter sowing method. So again, holes in the top, holes in the bottom. So we're gonna start with planting the uh, chamomile here and I'm going to use this container. Chamomile seeds are very tiny. You can see there. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a light layer all over the top here. Probably a little more generous than you would do normally, I guess, but when they're this fine, I just find this the easiest way to do it. And I'm just gonna put a light layer of dirt over the top. And I got my little homemade label already uh, written up here with chamomile today's date January 23rd now this has to be stuck in there kind of low because of the lid we'll see how that fits I'm gonna just give a little turn to the side so it fits in here and the lid seems to snap on fairly tight so I'm not going to worry about putting any duct tape on there and I'm going to write on the outside as well. So the strawberry fresca package I had only had about maybe eight seeds left in it. Very, very tiny. So I spread them out very carefully. We'll see how that goes. So we're going to use the ice cream container to plant up the alpine strawberries here and these are pelleted seeds so they've been they have a, a coating on them so they're a little easier to to see and work with um, so we're going to just spread out a more generous amount of these because I have it's apparently I have 125 seeds in here and these normally would you would start indoors uh, 10 to 14 weeks before the last frost which would be probably for us here in zone three would be um, you know close to the end of February so we'll see how these work so as you can see here I've got quite a few of them in there So 
So another light layer, make sure they're got a bit of coverage on them. Again, this has a good snap tight lid here, so no duct tape required. I forgot to put my marker inside. Okay, so I have a marker with the date and the kind of strawberry these are. Okay, so the last thing we're going to plant up here is the cone flower. I'll just show you what these seeds look like. They're quite a bit bigger, quite a bit easier to work with. So these are a um, hardy perennial for my zone here in zone three. Uh, Saskatchewan and a lot of people grow them so I'm hoping to get these going in my perennial garden so that they'll come back every year. So we're going to use this container, plant these up. Try to spread them out. I think I'll just add a few more in here just to be sure. So there's probably over 20 seeds in there. So I have my little marker made here. I need to buy a fine tip marker. I only have a, a thick black marker here, so it's a little harder to write. Uh, the small print on here but I should be able to figure out that this is a cone flower. Stick it in here. Now we just need to duct tape these containers shut. So I'm using uh, my funky colored duct tape that I bought. I could also use uh, clear packing tape. I've always used duct tape. It's worked okay for me. Make sure you stretch out a big enough piece to get all the way around. So just kind of hold the lid in place. Don't worry about st it sticking yet until you get all the way around a nice overlap and then just go around and seal it all up really good. So this one's ready to go. So before I take them outside and stick them in the snow bank, I always like to give them a little extra um, bit of moisture to wick up. So I put them in a tray like this. This is just an aluminum turkey roaster type thing from the dollar store. So I'll just put a few inches of water in here and let them sit and wick it up as much as they need just to make sure the, the soil is uh, really well moist, uh, saturated with moisture and it will freeze uh, probably pretty quick out there today because it is pretty cold here. And um, yeah, we will just send these guys out to the snowbank with the other ones that are already out there. And I will be uh, planting up some herbs and some other cool crop uh, lettuces here shortly, so stay tuned for the next video.